stop. The highly anticipated PlayStation 4 Game of the Year Naughty Dog's The Last of Us Part 2 has arrived on the console after a seven-year-long wait since its prequel. The post-apocalyptic zombie game can be purchased from the PlayStation Store in India for 3,999 rupees. There's also a digital deluxe version of the game which is over 99 GB in size and costs 4,799 rupees. It comes with the digital soundtrack, a mini art book, PS4 dynamic theme and six PSN dynamic avatars. The survival game is set five years after the events of the first game, but the concept remains largely the same. It gives users control of a teenage girl called Ellie, with emphasis on melee and stealth combat to defend yourself from infected enemies. The PlayStation blog says that The Last of Us Part II is a character-driven story, focusing on flawed individuals and the difficult choices they make. Electronic Arts dropped a new 6-minute gameplay trailer for the upcoming Star Wars Squadrons at its EA Play Live 2020 event. The trailer showcased various game mechanics for the first-person multiplayer space dogfighting title. Players get to step into the cockpits of legendary starfighters from both the New Republic and Imperial fleets and fight in strategic 5 vs 5 space battles or even play the single-story campaign mode. The game lets you modify your starfighter and adjust the composition of your squadron to suit varying play styles. Pilots must triumph as a team and complete tactical objectives across known and never-before-seen battlefields including the Gas Giant of Yavin Prime and the Shattered Moon of Gallatin. Star Wars Squadrons will be available to play from October 2nd across PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC. Electronic Arts has shared glimpses of its sports titles Madden NFL 21 and FIFA 21 in a trailer at EA Play Live to show some of the new features on the next-gen PS5 and Xbox Series X. EA is promising blazing fast load times, more lifelike animation technology and rich weather detail. It's also promising deeper immersion through better looking player models, bench and fan reactions, pre-game cinematics along with specialized audio that brings the stadium atmosphere to life. There's also a new deferred lighting and rendering system that brings a more realistic appeal to the games. Meanwhile, EA is bringing an exclusive feature to Sony's PS5 that will let players sense impact of shots, passes, catches, kicks, tackles and hits, all thanks to haptic feedback from the DualSense controller. FIFA 21 will debut October 9th on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Windows PC and Xbox One. Earlier this week, Electronic Arts had announced that Madden NFL 21 will launch on August 28th on PC, PS4 and Xbox One. Game developer Respawn Entertainment at EA Play Live 2020 announced that its free-to-play battle royale game Apex Legends will be coming to Nintendo Switch devices and Steam for PC in autumn 2020. Additionally, the game will also support cross-platform play. This means that Nintendo Switch and Steam players can compete against users on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Origin for PC. To recall, Electronic Arts back in October had revealed that Apex Legends had crossed a global player base of 70 million. Some juicy details for the upcoming PS5 game Spider-Man Miles Morales have been revealed by developer Insomnia Games. Apparently, it's set roughly a year after the events of Marvel's Spider-Man and is about half as long as the first game. This means the story campaign for Spider-Man Miles Morales is expected to be 10 to 12 hours long. To recall, the new Spidey adventure was announced at the PlayStation 5 Future of Gaming event on June 11th. The game features the star character of the acclaimed animated film Into the Spider-Verse who is written by a radioactive spider, setting up the newly announced sequel. The teaser trailer shows Miles web-slinging his way out of troubles and other new abilities that include electric venom blasts and stealth camouflaging. Spider-Man Miles Morales will be coming to PS5 in late 2020 as a sequel to 2018 smash hit PS4 exclusive Spider-Man. Developer CD Projekt has announced that its highly anticipated Cyberpunk 2077 has once again been delayed. The futuristic open-world role-playing game will now launch on November 19th, two months after its earlier September 17th launch date. The game was initially supposed to hit store shelves in April, but CD Projekt Red said in January that it was delaying the title to September 17th because of the sheer scale and complexity of the game. This time, the developer said Cyber 2077 is finished, both content and gameplay-wise, but needs to properly go through everything, balance game mechanics and fix a lot of bugs. For the uninitiated, Cyberpunk 2077 has been in the works since at least 2013 and is made by the same gaming studio that gave us the usually popular Witcher series. 
The game is set in a vast sci-fi city featuring hackers and criminals and has attracted so much attention that Microsoft released a cyberpunk themed limited edition console and controller which was quickly sold out. Google Chrome extensions that were downloaded more than 32 million times were reportedly used to spy on its users in a massive global surveillance campaign that affected several sectors including financial services and government organizations. A cybersecurity firm Awake Security found at least 111 malicious or fake Chrome extensions capable of taking screenshots, stealing login credentials and capturing passwords entered by the user. Most of those free extensions were supposed to warn users about questionable websites or convert files from one format to another, but instead they siphoned off browsing history and data. Google confirmed to CNN that all browser extensions flagged by the researchers have since been removed. The report said it was the most far-reaching malicious Chrome Store campaign to date based on the number of downloads. There's no clarity on who was behind the malware distribution since the developers supplied fake contact information to Google when submitting the extensions. Several users have reported a compatibility issue with their MacBook Air and MacBook Pro's USB 2.0 devices that is causing the laptops to freeze. According to the reports shared on the web, the problem seems to affect only the 13-inch 2020 MacBook models introduced earlier this year. Tech news portal MacRumors found several users complaining on Reddit and Apple support communities that their USB 2.0 accessories are randomly disconnected from the MacBook and sometimes the system crashes after that. There doesn't seem to be a clear pattern, but most reports suggest that USB 2.0 devices become unresponsive when connected to a USB hub, and the only way to get rid of it is by rebooting the laptop. However, the MacBook works normally with USB 3.0 and USB 3.1 accessories even through a hub. Apple may revert to its original iPhone OS name ahead of the launch of its latest iOS at the WWDC 20 event, which starts June 22nd. Popular YouTuber John Prozer has published a cryptic tweet that Apple may indeed change the name of the iPhone's operating system at the developers' conference to align the branding with iPad OS. It's been almost a decade since Apple changed the name from iPhone OS to iOS back in June 2010 when the iPad was launched. Apple has announced that WWDC 2020 will be a five-day-long online-only event and will feature platform State of the Union, 100 plus engineering sessions and others besides products and software announcements. The Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5G has been listed on benchmarking website Geekbench. As per the listing, the foldable smartphone will run on Android 10 and feature the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset paired with 8GB of RAM. Several reports in the past have suggested that the 5G variant of the Z Flip could be launched in August along with Samsung Galaxy Note 20. To recall, the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip LTE version was released in India in February 2020. It's currently priced at 1,15,999 rupees and features a 6.7-inch Full HD Dynamic AMOLED display and a secondary 1.1-inch cover display. It packs 8GB of RAM, sports a dual rear camera setup with two 12-megapixel lenses and is powered by a Snapdragon 855 Plus processor and a 3300mAh battery. 